So Dean, how's everyone feeling ahead of the first championship game on Sunday? Yeah, feeling, they're feeling really good to be fair, they're buzzing, after the, obviously after the first two results we've had in the Conti Cup, um, firstly against Tottenham in penalties we won 5-4 uh, and then a massive game we went to Yeovil and obviously beat them 1-0. That was a fantastic game for us to win because they're full-time. So yeah, it's been a good start so far. What was it like over the summer when you thought that you weren't going to be in the Championship and then later on when you found out that you got a place? It was kind of a letdown because we thought we'd earned the right to obviously to go up to the Championship. Literally three weeks later, we was given the call to say we was. So it was kind of, right, we need to redo the structure to get everything um, ready for the Championship. When it came through, um, we, we, were just, we were just so happy. Um, we deserve it, the club deserves it. Everybody who's playing here deserves it, so um, yeah, it's just fantastic news all around. They've gelled really quickly and that kind of shows in the games we've played and the games we've won. It's been a really positive move for us as a club, so yeah, they're looking, they're looking all right. You've had that Gemma Bryan shaped hole to fill up front. What options have you got up front this season? Yeah, we've got a couple. We signed Ashley Hinks from Mill. She was their captain last season, um, scored loads of goals. She's a really good addition to the club and to the team, um, very experienced. Uh, she's played for England at all the youth levels, so yeah, that, that was a massive, massive coup for us. I think for, since the moment I've come in, it just sort of feels like something special maybe is, is sort of building here. I, I just think that it's, it's a team and a club that are really on the up, especially in women's football. We've also brought in Kelly Balfour from Gillingham, one of their main strikers, very pacey. In the same mould as Gemma, to be fair, she scored her first goal against Tottenham here at Bromley. We've, we've got a few options. The challenges that come with this league are going to be completely different, it's going to be more physical. Um, there's girls who've been playing in this league for years, so just to have some of that experience from the likes of Ash is going to be it's going to be unbelievable um, and it's going to stand us in good stead so great additions to the, to the squad. Lots of publicity in the week leading up to your first game how's that been? Manic it's been really mad but we all know Wilfred he's he is Palace through and through um, the gesture he's made to the club has been fantastic they'll, they'll put it to good use. I mean it's amazing that, that someone with stature can generate um, even just the social media side of things as well obviously the money is a huge huge help and he didn't have to so I think it's he's definitely leading by example we appreciate it because you don't believe how far that money can sort of spread in in the women's side so um, it really help, it really helps everyone out. What kind of a league is it? What can we expect? Very competitive. Every team tends to sort of pick up points from teams you, you ordinarily wouldn't expect. I think that it's a league that is really ruthless. You have to be at your best every single week, otherwise you'll find yourself maybe being on the uh, end of a bit of a beating. The first game against Leicester, what kind of a test are they going to do? Leicester, Leicester, like us, have, have gone up this year. They're a good side, a very good side. They've signed some good players, some good double seal players from last season, so they've recruited really well. We've worked on a lot defensively. The girls will be up for it, but it will be a tough game to Sunday, definitely a tough game. The best thing about probably these girls right now is just the, the team spirit. Uh, everyone's excited, everyone's up for the challenge. Um, I'm going to take it game by game.